Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Valerie Mills. We have a lot to get to with the tropics today as the 11 o'clock advisory Friday morning now includes the state of Florida under tropical storm watches and warnings. We have those warnings on the southwest coast. The areas highlighted in yellow blue for the areas that are under tropical storm watches. That's just to the south of Fort Myers and includes the Bay Area just to the north of us down to the Florida Keys and the southeast coast of the state also under that tropical storm watch. We now have what's been called potential tropical cyclone four that was recently updated early this morning. And when we get these potential tropical cyclones, that means we haven't had an official tropical cyclone develop yet, but we expect within the next 48 hours tropical impacts to land. And now we have those watches and warnings that the National Hurricane Center is able to issue once it's upgraded to potential tropical cyclone status. And now we have an official track map for the storm. So we've been pretty confident that once this gets out of Cuba, we're going to see it start to turn a little bit more to the north and it is going to find a weakness in the ridge of high pressure. So that's why we expect it to turn off to the north, then to the northeast, crossing the state. And then it does look like it's potentially going to emerge out in the Atlantic early next week, moving across some other southeast states. So right now there are still some questions. We need to see this get out of Cuba into parts of the Florida Straits and the Gulf of Mexico, where then we'll have a better idea. Is this going to scoot a little bit more riding the West Coast, which would potentially put a landfall up in the Big Bend, maybe parts of the Panhandle, or is it going to curve, making that landfall a little bit earlier? Now, of course, a sooner landfall on the South West Coast, that would mean a weaker system. If it is able to kind of scoot up along the West Coast of the state, waters are very warm. So we will expect some rapid intensification from Saturday into Sunday. But as of right now, here's kind of a look at the timing. We do expect this to form into a tropical low, possibly our next name storm, which would be Tropical Storm Debbie. That's likely to happen Saturday as it gets into the Florida Straits. Once it moves out of Cuba right now, it's interacting with a little bit of land. Mountains there, not too high, but we do have about 6,000 feet in elevation. As it crosses Cuba, it is going to kind of be battling some of that land. But here's a look at our, modicle, our models and notice really that curve. It is going to put a landfall, most likely some Somewhere between the southwest coast, maybe Fort Myer, Cape Coral area, up into the Big Bend. These are the regions that we are watching for that landfall, likely on Sunday. Sunday is going to be the day that we're talking most widespread impacts from this system. And right at this point, models are keeping it relatively modest as far as strengthening. So we're looking at the potential for a tropical storm. Hurricane doesn't look too likely, but we can't rule that out right now. As I just mentioned, if it skirts up the West Coast, that will give it more fuel, more time to strengthen as it approaches some of our Big Bend panhandle areas. But what is certain, we are going to get a deluge of tropical rains. It's going to start Saturday night and all day on Sunday. If it crosses maybe just south of Tampa Bay, maybe just north of Tampa Bay, look at all the rain accumulations. We are talking several inches. Flash flood is going to be a big concern as it kind of crosses the state, possibly emerges right around Jacksonville, St. Augustine areas. So even into early next week, we're still talking about the potential for some very heavy rain moving through the southeast. Want to just give you one look at our exclusive Fox model. Keep in mind, this is just one model. We have several that we look at, but I want to just give you an idea of the timing and one look at a potential track. This is paused here, 8 o'clock a.m. Saturday morning. We're starting to watch for a little bit more organization. Heavy rain starts for South Florida, and then you can see where our Fox model is kind of taking that general potential center of circulation. Somewhere up the West Coast, all of that heavy rain starts early Sunday morning, continues on Sunday, then kind of scoots off somewhere to the southeast. So there's still some questions. There's still a lot to watch with this track, but the key message is time to get prepared. Now we're talking a lot of heavy rain for the end of this weekend. Early next week, we're going to be continuing to watch this very closely and all the updates that you'll need will be right here on my Fox Hurricane.